I would call myself a cancer warrior, a cancer fighter, and I'm proud to be a representative for living life joyously, living life fully, fiercely out loud. I was diagnosed with stage 4 colorectal cancer December 15, 2011, when I was 46 years old. They found quite a large tumour in my large bowel and cancer had spread throughout my liver and my abdominal tract uh, very aggressively. When I was diagnosed with cancer, I decided, all right, um, I'm going to make it my full-time job to be present in my life be present in every single second, enjoy, not be apathetic, and throw fear out the door. I ain't afraid to do nothing. She has stage four colorectal cancer. She's had multiple surgeries. She's got a hell of a fight on her hands. My name is Jennifer Gardner, Jen Unplugged, and my story is a wild ride. It presented a tremendous opportunity to speak to a wider audience and when you speak to a wider audience, you feed people and you make them feel better about themselves. Cancer can look like whatever you want it to look like. Playing dress up and going out on evenings like this is an expression of, of love and respect for myself. Being a documentary maker and being in television for a long time, you always look for those amazing stories that are going to touch people and inspire people. And when I met Jen, automatically, I knew that she had that already. I decided to work with her and do this documentary just because she has an amazing, inspiring message that people need to hear and, uh, and a mission. And I wanted to be a part of that and I wanted to tell that story and create that platform where she can stand up and be able to spread it as far as possible. I think she comes across very strong and together and beautiful and all that, but deep down, you know, she goes through a lot of different things, a lot of pain and a lot of struggles, but she's just like you and I. I've been, I've been in constant treatment. I've had three major surgeries. Um, and I've got big old scars to prove it. Um, I've gone through 10 radiation treatments for metastases to my jaw, and the cancer continues to grow there, so we'll probably be doing some more radiation at some point. Um, I have gone through 28 chemotherapy treatments. It's started to not work for me. It's, it's, um, my, it's mutated in my body. I said to her, look, just give me as much time as you can. That's all you can do. We're looking to clinical trials that are available up at Tom Baker. That's why clinical trials, the funding of that is so important to me. Uh, not just for me, but for thousands of others. And uh, there's also genetic testing uh, to see what's going on in my body so we can search possibly for a better cocktail, a better remedy uh, to help contain my cancer because my cancer at this point is not curable. Um, the best they can do is shrink it and contain it just to buy you some time uh, and quality of life until something else comes around. So I'm not giving up hope. I'm not giving up hope at all. 